hello you guys welcome and welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to design this worship experience flyer with adobe photoshop please watch this video till the very end because it's going to be very easy and leave a like because it sends a message to the algorithm that this video is helpful to you and should be recommended to others all the resources i will use for this tutorial will be on our channel members telegram group and you can join with the link in the description or you click on join below this video and become a channel member so let's get started so this is photoshop cc 2015 and if you're using any other version of photoshop you can go to windows and workspace you click on essential so you can be on the same page with me but with that we can start our design so to start designing you press ctrl n on your keyboard or you go to file and you go to new and it opens up this dialog box where you have to set your canvas so all you have to do is to click on the document type you choose international paper just like this and make sure it's on a5 because we are designing an a5 flyer then you make sure your resolution is at 300 to have the best quality print and at this point your unit does not matter and your width and height does not matter because you have the size set to a5 already and your background content you can leave it at white or you leave it at transparent depending on what you want but for this i'm going to leave it at white and you click on ok once you are done with that so this opens up and next thing you want to do is to unlock your background so you click on this lock icon to unlock this background so with this next thing you want to do is to add a gradient view on this background and to do that you click on add layer style and you click on your gradient overlay and it opens up this dialog box and you want to add the gradient color here so you click on edit gradient and once you do that it opens up this gradient view and this was just the last gradient fill i had but i'm going to delete all this off and leave it with just two gradient fields so i can add the colors i want to add okay so i'm going to take this off and that's fine so i have just this okay fine so i have just two of these on the slider so i'm going to double click on the first one and you can type in this hex code so you get the exact color i have for this flyer so you type 05000d and that's cool hit on ok and you have the exact same color i have for this flyer you double click on this other slider and type in this x code and type in this x code as well 001167 and that's cool you hit on ok and hit on ok again to get this so this is how the gradient looks like but now we want this gradient field to look like just like this you hold on your blue gradient and you see this one on the center so you take it to the center just like this you have it on the center just here and place it somewhere here so you can adjust your scale and it looks just like this so i think that's fine so you make sure your reverse and align with layer is left unchecked and your opacity 100 percent that's very cool you hit on okay so once you're happy with that we move to the next step i'm going to open up my folder where i have the resources for this design then i'm going to pick up this background i have for this flyer and i'll place it just around here so once this open up you can rotate this this way and that looks cool and you open it up just like this and it looks perfect hit on enter and that places itself on the background very well and we are going to do some stuff on this particular background i'm going to change the color to blue at first with the help of my color replacement tool so i'm going to click and hold on the brush and it opens up the color replacement tool so you click on the color replacement tool and then you right click on this background and rasterize layer and once you're happy with that you can hold on your right square bracket to increase your brush size and then make sure your color is set to blue you can leave it at just this blue around here and this looks cool and nice then you're going to paint on this background so you have this just around here and this looks very cool just i need this to have a blue feel around the background that's why i choose to use it this way so you press ctrl l on your keyboard to open up your level adjustment so you can adjust the levels of this background and make it a kind of dark just like what you can see here and it looks cool so hit on ok and that looks cool 
and very nice then you click on add layer marks to give this background a layer marks and you click on your brush again and click on your brush too and make sure your foreground is set to black and once your foreground is set to black you can paint around here just like this and you can paint just around here and that looks cool that looks perfect so the background affects just only this aspect of the flyer so next up i'm going to bring in this broken glass just like what you see here i'm going to bring it into the flyer as well and make sure you hit on enter to place this on the design then you right click and rasterize layer and this point you can take it upwards just to this and press ctrl t to transform and scale it up just like this and place it just around here and that looks cool and nice so what i'm trying to do now is that i'm trying to treat the background i'm using for my design so you hit on enter to place this on the design as well then you change your blending mode to screen and we have something just like this then you add a layer max once again and once you do that it gives this white thumbnail and make sure your foreground is set to black then using your brush you can set your brush to any size as you want but make sure that your hardness is left to zero and your size any size you want then you paint around here to take off those sharp edges and then you have just something like this it looks cool and very nice right that's very cool then you move on to the next level you bring in this background where you have these people worshiping and place it just around here very cool so you press ctrl left square bracket to send it to the back and we have something that looks just like this so you can adjust this again by pressing ctrl t to transform and enlarge it such a way that it fills this whole space you can take this upwards a little and leave it just around here and click on enter to place it on the design then you give it a layer mask by clicking on add layer marks and once you do that it gives it a layer mask and with your brush and your foreground set to black you paint around here again just around like this and you get that feel then i'm going to reduce the transparency of this so you click on the layer once again and reduce the opacity just like this so you have something that looks close to this so your opacity should be set to 66 percent and that looks very cool and very nice so we move to the next step the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in this broken glass once again and place it just on the design and take it upwards a little and you can enlarge this again and place it just around here it looks cool around there and looks nice fine then you change your blending mode to screen and you get something that looks like this and you also add a layer max as well and with the help of your brush you paint around here paint around the center to eliminate the shiny parts and you paint just around here as well and we get something like this then you can add your transparency as well to reduce the opacity at least to 50 percent of that is very cool and very nice so with this we are going to move to the next step and that is to create a focal point so i'm going to open up our text documents i'm going to copy the right top i have for this flyer i'm going to copy out this whole stuff around here and bring it to photoshop and then click on your text tool and click on the flyer and press ctrl v to paste then you simply get something like this so you press ctrl a to highlight all and give it a white color just like this so this is what you get so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform and open up this just like that and then i'm going to change the font i'll be using hit on t to activate your text tool select break font, and once you select break font, you can change the typeface to morganite okay i'm going to leave the links to all the type i'm going to use on the description so you can download them and use them for your own design so you type morganite and you choose morganite black i think that looks cool and nice for this and i'm going to increase the font size to something around um 78 okay 80 points is okay then i'm going to select virtual worship experience and change this to assassin okay assassin regular that looks cool and very nice so i'm going to select 
with Prince Joel and give it assassin as well. So that is what we get, okay? And that looks cool and very nice. But for the breakfast, I think I'm going to use something around um bold. I think bold looks better. So we're going to leave it at Morganite bold, okay? And select all by pressing Ctrl A and select and click on center to centralize this whole stuff happening here so you select virtual worship then you click on your character and paragraph panel to open this up and you adjust your leading just around here take it up what's a little that looks cool very nice kind of close to breakfast then you can select breakfast and increase breakfast once again till you have something around somewhere just like this it looks cool and select with prince jewel and adjust this again increase the leading just around here to take this downward a little away from that of the virtual worship experience and you're going to reduce the font size as well so you reduce the font size just around here you reduce the font size and then you take it upwards a little so i'm leaving it at just 18 points and with the help of your leading you take it upwards a little till you have something close to this so once you get this done you can place this at the center just like this where you have me place it here okay this looks very cool and very nice so you're going to add a kind of gradient feel on the breakfast so you hit on t on your keyboard and select breakfast and press ctrl x to cut this out of the way so you hit on ok and you click on your design again and press ctrl v to paste the breakfast so press ctrl t to transform and increase your breakfast again and place this just around here and reason being that i want to add a special effect to this breakfast so you hit on ok and that looks cool you can take this upwards a little this looks perfect and nice so you hit on your add layer style and hit on your gradient view and once you do that it gives this a kind of gradient just like that but i'm not going to use that gradient view so you hit on your edit gradient and it opens up this gradient editor then you double click on the first panel and type in this hex code just like this f f e two three one that's it i hit on ok and you double click on this other side of the gradient and type in this hex code as well seven zero four c one two and that looks cool hit on ok and with that you get the exact same gradient just like this that looks cool so with that you're going to reduce your scale to somewhere around uh, 49 and make sure you, the yellow part is at the center just like this so your scale at 49 and every other thing remains the same at default just like this so you hit on ok and once that is done you get this just like this that looks cool and the next thing i'm going to do is to add a kind of circle around this uh with prince jewel so i'm going to hit on the rectangle tool and create a square like this and once you get that done it opens up this properties panel where you have to set your shape how you want it to look like okay that's cool so i'm going to adjust this this way okay and that looks cool so it affects the whole part and make sure that the adjustment is 55 55 55 55 pixel around that so i'm going to hit on the fill color and click on no color because i don't want any color around here then i'm going to hit on my stroke and hit on white because i actually need white around here and make sure your stroke radius is set to one point and that looks cool and nice so you can see how it looks like so we need to zoom in so you hit on ctrl t to transform and you can reduce this a little and bring this down a little to make sure it's just at the center and that looks cool and very nice so this is what we get so once all this is done next thing you want to do is to select everything that is happening around here on your layers panel so i'm going to select the breakfast select visual worship experience and you select the rectangle shape and press ctrl g to group them and you can name this group breakfast and once you do that 
you are able to coordinate every stuff into one group and press ctrl t to transform and with this you're going to hold control on your keyboard and hold shift as well to take one side upwards notice that when i hold control and shift i'm able to hold this node and drag it just upwards like this so you hit on ok and place this at the center just like this so it looks very cool and very nice make sure your focal point is at the center of the design just like what you can see here so you can press ctrl t again to transform and adjust this just like this at any point in time so this is what we get so next thing i'm going to do is to add shadows to this group so i'm going to click on my add layer style and click on drop shadow and it opens up this adjustment layer then you're going to adjust your shadows just like this make sure your opacity is at 55 and your distance at 18 and your speed 30 and your size at 18 so everything is just left at default so you click on ok and it looks very cool and very nice as it pops up out of the background just like this and next thing you want to do is to bring in the logo and every other stuff so i'm going to open up the logo and once it opens up because i had to save this as a photoshop file i'm going to hold the logo group and drag it to where i have the flyer and place it just inside here so you press ctrl right square bracket to bring this to the top of every other layer just here and you can name this group logo and that looks cool press ctrl t to transform and reduce the size just to what you have here so you see i can take this upwards a little and place this around here so it looks cool and you can reduce the logo once again perfect and then you're going to use your text tool and type here presents okay i'm going to make this uh futura i'm going to use futura for this futura medium looks perfect and you're going to reduce the size to eight points just like what you get okay let's make this nine points perfect so you can open up your character panel here selecting the text and adjust your tracking just like this and make sure your tracking is around 900 so you leave it at 900 and place it just here so this looks cool and very nice so presents just around there and that is it and next up i'm going to add even more effects to this flyer so i'm going to open up my folder once again and bring in this lens flare just right here and with this i'm going to hit on ok and make sure you set your blending mode to screen and it brings this light on just like this and you press ctrl t to transform so you can reduce this perfect and place it just around here press ctrl and shift on your keyboard and take this upwards just like that and place it around here so you can adjust it till it aligns with this break foot hit on ok that looks perfect and very very nice and next thing you want to do is to bring in this image i have this running man i'm going to bring it to photoshop and place it just around here so you can reduce the size but this time you know it follows the rule black height and white reveal so for us to review the black and hide the white you know observe that when we use screen as the blending mode it hides the black and increase the white and the brighter parts of the image but this time we are going to set our blending mode to multiply cool so this is what we get so when you set your blending mode to multiply this is what you get it hides all the brighter parts of the image and increase the darker part of the image so you press ctrl t to transform and reduce this just around here place it around here so you see it speaks the same message break forth okay that's fine so this is what you get so i'm going to zoom out once again and next thing i want to do is to bring in this stuff into the flyer kind of speedy stuff something that looks like kind of speed and place it around here so you're going to adjust this and place it around here it's kind of symbol that shows speed okay someone that is running on kind of high speed okay that's fine i'm going to leave it there so you add a layer max so you click on your add layer max and with the help of your brush and your foreground set to black you're going to brush out this area just like that we're going to brush out some of this area and we're going to leave some of them 
so you brush around here and it's not too visible but kind of visible so you place it around here it looks cool and very very nice so next up i'm going to bring in this light effect i have here it's a kind of lens flare and i'm going to place it around here increase this and place it around here it looks cool and very nice hit okay and then we want to hide all the black and increase the brighter part of this image so you click on your blending mode and click on screen okay and it hides all the stuff just like this then you're going to add a layer max and click on your brush and your foreground set to black you paint just around this center like this you paint around here and this looks perfect and nice so you have the lights around here and here just looks very cool the way it is so the next thing we are going to do is to bring in the image i have for this flyer i'm going to open up the pictures i have now i've already set these pictures to the way i want so you can arrange your pictures just the way i did or something close to this i've already set this because this is a flyer i am actually redesigning so i'm going to pick the pictures and place them on my design and boom it comes up here so i'm going to place it just down here you can press ctrl t to transform and reduce the pictures just like this and place it just around here this looks perfect and nice cool just place them at the center like this it looks okay hit on okay and once you are done with that you're going to add a layer max to this group picture so you add a layer max and with the help of your brush you're going to brush this side of the design like this and brush them and i think this looks perfect so i think this looks perfect and nice just the way it is so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in these shiny lights i have and place them around this image just like this rotate this fine and reduce this again and place it around here then change your blending mode to screen okay screen and place it just at the center here you can make this slim a little by reducing this just like that and place it at the center you can zoom in so you see what they're actually doing very well and place it just here you can zoom in again place it around here that looks perfect and then i'm going to press ctrl j to duplicate this layer hold it and place it around here and that looks cool you press ctrl j again and take it to this other side place it around here press ctrl j again and take it to this other side to place it around here so this looks perfect and better then i'm going to select all these lights and press ctrl g i'm going to name this group lens flare fine then i'm going to add a layer max to this and with the help of your brush and your foreground set to black you paint around this light so it takes off this other part of the light just like that then i'm going to add some finishing touches to this design don't mind my cropping on this my cropping is actually very very bad and if you want to learn how to crop pictures just like this i'm going to leave a link in the description so you watch a video on how to take off background images or cut out background images just like this one so next up i'm going to hit on the text tool and type um october uh 15 and 2021 then you see my tracking is actually very large so i'm going to press ctrl a to select all and open my character panel and make sure my tracking is set to zero this looks cool and very nice and make sure your font is set to futura and i'm going to select 15 and zoom in a little and make sure you set this to bold and increase the font size for 15 just like that and make sure you set your leading just like this increase your leading to 14 so it's just something around here and select all and set your alignment to left alignment and press ctrl t and increase this just like that it looks cool and nice you place it just around there perfect so i'm going to press ctrl j on my keyboard to duplicate this and take it to this other side then you can press t on your keyboard and select that edit that and set the time to 8 pm that's very cool and you place it just down here cool 
and nice just here it looks perfect around here so you place it just around here and why i'm doing this is to make sure the design is balanced as it's supposed to be you can bring this down a little and i'm going to bring in the date icon and place it just around here press this reduce this and bring it at here and you can zoom in and bring this just down here and hit on ok then we want to change this color to yellow and then i'm going to click on my add layer style and click on color overlay and this dialog box pops up so you double click on color and once you do that you set your color to yellow just like this okay and it changes to yellow just as what you can see and i'm going to do the same thing for the time i'm going to bring in the icon for time and place it around here and then you can reduce this again place it here reduce this hit ok and then you're going to bring this down here and do the same thing again add layer style color overlay and then it opens up this dialog box with the color yellow taking the previous color we just added and you click on ok so this looks very cool and very nice and one more thing we're going to add facebook live because this event is gonna be a live event so i'm going to bring in this facebook live icon and place it around here and we're going to reduce this and place it here facebook live then if you have a link for this you can just put it under the facebook live but i'm going to leave that just the way it is and next thing we want to do is to add the name for all these artists so i'm going to open this up copy this out and then bring this to photoshop and paste this looks cool and very nice as it takes the same font futura so i'm going to do this and do this again so you're going to space this up till it fits all the artists just as it is and that's cool i'm going to place this at the center like this uh cool I think I should set this to the left and bring this backward a little. This looks cool. Nice. Perfect. You can place the names of your artists just like this. It looks perfect and nice. And make sure your font size for that should be 9 points as it looks perfect just as the way it is. And I'm going to bring in this stuff powered by Team Breakfast Worship and still that same font you paste it here and place it just down here as that the footnotes so this is very well and we've come to the end of this flyer design let's see how this flyer looks like boom so pretty much this was how this flyer was achieved with photoshop thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video